That's it, Rocky boy. We've done it. Oh, yes. The motor's working will be music to Aino's ears. Don't think we unbind happy ears. Soon the waters will be pure again, and the undying life will return to normal. For the survivors it will, but we haven't seen too many of them. Jen? Scree? There are more survivors than you imagine. You can hear a signal to my people telling them it is safe to return to the lagoon. Many had fled to secret waters, which are full of different perils. Not all will have escaped those dangers, but most will return safely. That's great, Aino. Really great. I'm only sorry your husband had to... that he had to die for all this to come right. I'm sorry. He died long ago, when the affliction first came on. It wasn't my Adaro that you killed. All you should feel now is pride. We have everything to thank you for. It has been an honor. I hope you may return to our kingdom one day. I'd like that. Goodbye, Queen Aino. Jennifer, Scree, you have both done much to commend yourselves. Hey, no problem. Thank you. Do you believe me now, Jennifer? That Abaddon is a danger to these realms, and that he and his agents must certainly be stopped. Oh, he's bad news, Aurel, I see that. But it's cool. He tried to mess up Solom and Aquas and... Me and the big guy here just cruised on in and made things right. You know, and a problem. I wish it were that easy, Jennifer. But there are more far-reaching repercussions of these disturbances. Each of these imbalances allow the armies of chaos to grow and spread. Oh, here we go. You are far from the end of your journey, Jennifer. No, no, no! I can't keep bailing you guys out, okay? I got my own priorities. I need to find Lewis and get back home. Look, I've helped you plenty now, Arella, and I don't mind because... because I like you, but for me, this is the end of the line. Jen, I'm sure that... Hold on, mister, because I'm talking to you too. And I mean back there. Yeah, okay. I know you did the right thing in the end, but without me, you were going to put that guy through the blender. Victory at all costs. And then shouting at me not being ready to make sacrifices. Well, I'm telling you, I've made enough. No, Jen, no, that's not what I was saying. It wasn't about you. And while I'm at it, Arella, don't you think, as the so-called leader of the forces of order, that you've been just a little bit negligent? Or was it part of your plan that the fate of the world end up in the hands of an overgrown garden gnome and a goddamn waitress? Jennifer, Scree deserves better than to be talked to like that. Whatever, I've had it. What do you know about your parents, Jennifer? What? You never knew them, did you? How do you know that? You are a hybrid, Jennifer. Half mortal, half demon. One of only two in all existence. And to me, that makes you more important than an army of demons. Did you think it was just those trinkets on your arms that allowed you to change form? You have powers even Abaddon does not fully comprehend. You can go anywhere, 
Do things that Belazor could not if he had a millennium. The laws of the Nexus are yours to break. And Lewis is the same. You're lying. I had an army once, Jennifer. Just after you were born, I lost it all in a battle to wrest two infants away from Abaddon. Only my general, bravest and strongest of my warriors, escaped the slaughter. And he fled the battlefield to hide you and Louis in Mortalis. He was captured on his return, and Abaddon gave him to his warlord, Belazor, so that they might learn of your location. He endured monstrous torments at their hands, but he never spoke a single word as to your whereabouts. Eventually, after many years of torture, he was able to disguise himself and make his escape. To this day, he is believed by our enemies to be dead. Through sheer force of will, he had projected his spirit into the nearby form of a small stone effigy. Scree. Why didn't he say something? It is not his way. Do you see now why you must go on? I'm scared, Arella. You must not be. This is your destiny, Jennifer. Are you willing to continue? I guess so. Scree? Ladyship. Loyal Abdazur, guide Jennifer on into the realm of Aether. Abaddon has bestowed a dark gift upon its people. But, um, only if you're not sick of the sight of me. It would be an honor. This makes me glad, but hurry. I may not have a presence in the Nexus by the time you return. Go now. Don't like it. Let's go back to the beach. This is Ethergen, a realm of treacherous mountains and even more treacherous people, the Wraith. And it's aligned with chaos, right? In Solom and Aquis, Abaddon was trying to overturn the natural balance, but chaos was already drawing power from here. Doubtless, Abaddon's plan for Ether has simply been to tighten his evil grip. Just a wild stab in the dark, but I'm presuming these Wraith aren't exactly going to be our bosom buddies. We will have to be extremely careful here, Jen. But there are two castes in Aether. Up there live the Wraith aristocracy. We must really beware of them. They are decadent and dangerous, true enemies of my lady Arella. However, the Helot, living in the village over there, are rather different. They live in squalor, oppressed by their rulers. I think they're too downtrodden to pose us any threat. At least that's how things have always been. But as we've seen, none of the realms are as they were. Ah, don't sweat it, Rocky. We're on a roll. So, where to? We should make our way out of here and round to the village.
I'll need Scree to help me with this. Ah, let me get that. No, 